Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy, Second Cod here, and this is my new intro. I made it myself, and in today's... Oh, fuck, sorry, guys. If I sound tired as hell, it's because it is fucking... 3 a.m. here right now, and um, I have a few things to talk about. The first thing I want to talk about is how everybody become can become a YouTube partner. You just go to the... You know the if you click on your YouTube name, the come down drop down bar. You just click on um YouTube settings. You click on the I think it is market video or something like that, and then you just fill in some stuff and you become become a YouTube partner. And you have to think, fuck that guy, dude. He made, made me die. But the main thing I want to talk about today is how I had to have surgery on my balls. Alright, so, um, I was like, by the way, this might make a lot of guys nuts, kind of hurt. I was six years old and I was out at the, um, disclaimer real quick, I am playing off the demo, I feel like everything looks so jerky and my aim looks so bad. I mean, it is bad, kind of, but it makes it look worse. Alright, so I was six years old and I was at the park with my friend, just, Tristan and his two brothers and his mom and my mom went down to a store to get something to uh, eat beat. and we were riding our bikes around this uh, path down by like around this basketball court this is basketball court in the middle and there's a path goes all around there's like lamp posts along the side of the path so I was riding my bike as fast as I could with my six year old legs and I'm going and shit and I ran into one of the poles flew off like straddled the pole with my legs and I fucked up my balls and uh I just remember laying there like complete pain like oh dude it hurts so bad I just remember like pain shooting through like my whole dick crotch ball region and shit and uh and then so my mom my friend's mom calls my mom that's before like most people have cell phones so it was like I figured how they got a hold I think they had to wait for her to come back and um, she didn't think anything was wrong, so she made me ride my bike all the way home, dude. My balls fucked up so bad. We rode our bikes home, and oh, dude, it was fucking hell. This is when I was in kindergarten, because I went to kindergarten when I was six years old. Maybe you guys didn't. Maybe went to five. I still went with a five, so yeah. But it hurt so bad, and I couldn't walk. I mean, the reason I couldn't walk is because my ball swelled up to the fucking size of a grapefruit, dude. And for like the whole kindergarten year, I walked my leg completely spread apart. You can't see, but I'm doing a little demonstration with my fingers right here. Legs completely spread apart, and goddamn, that shit hurts so bad. And um, so we went to go see this uh, surgeon that's friends with my grandpa. And he said I had to go in to get a, I think it was like a Hydra seal, something fucking Bob. I don't know, just look up Hydra seal and you know what it is, like fluid rushes into your balls and makes them expand in a bad way and make them like all big and hell, as hell and shit. But, so I had one of those and I was super nervous because I've never had surgery before. And honestly, actually my only time I've ever had surgery was back when I was six, so... What we basically did was we went there and to the surgery place and so I just laid in bed, right? And I remember my dad reading me his uh, one book, right? And uh, then they told me I had to go into like this gas chamber. Not a gas chamber, that's like, that's bad. Uh, like a um, sedation, sedation, that's for dogs really killing me. Um, fuck, can't think of this shit. A you know, nothing to like make you fall asleep and not feel as much pain, so I went in there and I remember them telling me like count down and tell me what it smells like and dude it smelled so nasty. It smelled like wet fucking dog and like grody Ugh, dude it was nasty as hell. So I actually told them it smelled like wet dog and then all next thing I remember is I was wake I woke up in the hospital and there was a um Securing TV up in have you ever been guys ever been in a hospital room, you know, laying on the bed and it's a B. TV like right above you and it's like I think it was like channel five news. And back then I was six years old, so I was obsessed with Transformers and my aunt got me this um 
Metal Optimus Prime Security character. Shower. It was a uh, full metal like, collector's edition thing. I'm I I don't know if I still have it. Probably like in a crawl space if I still have it or anything. But got me one of those, and I remember um. I really, really, really wanted to get out of there, but they wouldn't let me until I went to the bathroom. And I remember we waited in there for like an hour to two hours, just waiting for me to have to take a piss. I'm like, God damn, why don't I have to take a piss yet? Why don't I have to take a piss yet? And so eventually I had to take a piss. And so I take a piss. They find out my, like, my bladder and dick's all fine and everything. I don't know why my bladder was all fine. My balls and dick and uh, everything's all fine for the everything for like normal life, you know, pissing, fucking, pooping, all that shit. So it's all fine for that. So they let me go and um, they wheel me out in this wheelchair thing. This is back when I lived out in the country a little bit. I lived out in like um maybe less than a mile out of town, so it was like really close to in town. It's kind of like securing problem. I think it's like suburbs around there now because you know the town expanded and everything, but. Uh, they wheeled me on a wheelchair, and I remember, um, I thought I was, I mean, I was in a lot of pain, but I thought it was kind of cool, because I've never actually been in a wheelchair before. So they, um, they brought one of those wheelchairs, you know, like the one of the standard, um, doctor wheelchair, <laughs> not doctor, that's a, that's a fucking bad, um, uh, uh, hospital wheelchairs, you know, with, like, the blue bottoms and, like, it's... it's metal or whatever so they wheeled me out all the way down to the parking garage we got out at the parking garage oh if you see my friend Owen right there he's stuck under the um thinking about the game he, in my screen he was just laying there but on his screen he was stuck under the care package and, and everything but so we, we wheeled out there we got home and I wasn't supposed to walk for two weeks maybe I I'm pretty sure it was two weeks I wasn't supposed to rock, walk for but literally the next day, I got up, walked around, I'm like, fuck this shit. Fuck what the doctor says. I'm gonna walk around and get around. And it hurt a little bit. I was limping. You know, it's obviously because it, it slit like, um, like, not in my balls, because that would be too good to actually, like, slit in my balls. It's, like, above my balls, and it's, like, it's on my right side, and it's, um... Kinda near my waist, it's near my waistline. It's right there, and it's, I still have the scar from it. I don't know. Uh, I guess it wouldn't have healed by now. They didn't use really sharp knives or something, so it didn't heal quickly. And basically, what they did inside there was they put like, I think it's a little plastic tubing. Somehow they like, made it so less flow went through my tubes. I don't know who it was Jizz, it was two young kids who might have been like, some fluid it went in there or something. So they put a little tube or something around there to keep it from flowing down my balls and making it as big as a grapefruit again. Cause dude, my balls are huge. I could say literally, like, I'd be like, so they asked me how big my balls are like, oh, they didn't decide of a grapefruit. But it all went down to my balls, all the liquid. So they put a little thing in there. Then they put me, they stitched me up with, um, the stitches you don't have to take out, they stitched me up with, um, Raw, like the, the stitches rot when they're in you, and that sounds really fucking gross. Now you don't even see them; they just like disappear after a while. And that has that's basically my surgery story. And I went back to school, finished my kindergarten year for the win, because kindergarten is like for bosses only, and uh, finished that. This is the awkward part of the commentary. We ran out of what. We had other things to talk about, but um, still a like two minutes left of the fucking game. Man. So I just want to talk about what's gonna come uh, with my channel. All right. So leave a comment. Even though only have four subscribers, I know all of them. But if you guys want to subscribe, remember to subscribe. If you like my videos, and um, I was thinking about putting up maybe some Minecraft and some Happy World videos. If you guys would like that. Just tell me in the comments if you guys would not like that. Just tell me, don't um, do that in the comments. And if if I made uh, Minecraft videos, we'd be like let's plays, building videos, all that shit. And if I was going to do Happy Wheels, you know, these normal Happy Wheels. What else the fuck can you do with Happy Wheels? And that's basically it. And the rest of the video will come to an end shortly. And let me think what the fuck else I could talk about. It, oh, dude, it's at 12 minutes, so I'm hitting like two more minutes right now. I, 
What's the other way I fucked up myself before? Hmm, let me think about this. Um... I do my videos unscripted and everything if you guys didn't know. And I normally only take one take. I know it's not like professional or anything. But, oh. I remember this part. The screen, sorry about the screen getting all black there for a second, guys. I didn't move the controller for a while, so it got all black and fucked up. No, no racist involved. No racist. Oh, I don't like that. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not racist. We got them in a spawn trap right here. So one of my teammates fucked it up after I think I died in a second from going over it. But it looks like my friend Owen fucked it up, but it's actually a uh, guy that runs in there. Boy, he does. Fuck second chance, dude. They should just take that fucking thing out of the game. It's the most bullshit ever. Second chance is for fucking fuck. Fucking bitches and cunts and every bad word you can think of for fucking second chance users. It's horrible. But enough for the really raging or whatever. I barely got enough flag right there. I'm just gonna talk about the gameplay for the last few seconds. See how the guy is using the riot shield? I cannot use riot shields for anything, dude. Whenever I try, I just die and um, can't get a kill. I can only. Riot shields are way better in hardcore because it's a one shot kill in hardcore. Because you have, if you guys didn't know, you have 33% health in hardcore. And instead of a uh, hundred health, I think you have thirty-three health. That would make sense, cause yeah, whatever. And the gameplay is wrapping up, guys. The, I mainly close the video not because of great score or anything, but because how close the victory was. It was nineteen ninety-eight to two thousand two hundred. This is my friend Owen Killcam, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye.